Now, in talking about multimedia, uh, to me, that usually starts with the browser. Let's go ahead and fire that up and take a look at that. And the browsing experience on here is actually, you know, real smooth. Um, you got the gigahertz processor in there, so that definitely helps. Um, let's go ahead and pull up a website like ESPN. And I'm on Wi-Fi right now, and you see that is real fast. Uh, scrolling, not the fastest, but it's definitely, you know, smooth works well um you know articles and everything Let's go ahead and oops, click on that you see it pulls up everything you know very nicely uh, jump off of here let me actually pull up a an article with some text and let's go there and then you've got you know pinch to zoom actually works well and this being a mobile site, I don't think that's going to actually display correctly. Let's go ahead and jump to something different. I'll go ahead and pull up my site real fast. And I mentioned before that this does have flash support, so that works, you know, nicely. Plays everything, you know, in line right in the page. You see my site, which has a decent amount of video content on it. And we'll start that up. You can see Flash doing his thing. A little bit hitchy at the moment, but you know, for the most part, all in all, it works real well. Pause that. And then, like I said, it does support multi touch, so you got double tap. Oops, it's getting a little bit hung up. There's pinch to zoom, and that works real well. So, browsing wise, you know, no complaints there. Um, you know, everything is smooth and works pretty seamless and that's to me one of the you know that's one of the big draws of having a tablet is you know when I get home from work I can just kind of toss the cell phone aside and I find myself you know most nights on the couch just kicking back with this baby and just you know browsing watching videos and for that it works real well um, I mentioned video let's go ahead and pull that up and this is actually a 720p movie clip shouts to the other guys But you can see here, I mean, the quality looks looks real good. Um, and you can set little bookmarks. You can scroll easily through a video. <laughs> so, yeah, I love that movie. I'm going to go ahead and jump out of there. Otherwise, I'll sit there and watch the whole clip. But video playing is, you know, definitely nice. Uh, there's some software on here too, uh, which is preloaded, and it's called Media Hub, where you can actually go and purchase, you know, TV shows, movies, that type of content, and view it right here on your device. Um, I think you can get certain TV episodes for like a dollar ninety nine or something like that. So if you're traveling, uh, if you're in the car, if you're gonna be on the plane, load this thing up, go ahead and purchase some content, or if you got Amazon too, you can go ahead and download your content, sideload it, and this device works real well for watching videos. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the music player. Let you guys get a taste of that. Let me go ahead and jump into some Joe Budden. How's everybody feeling out there? Jersey, what up? Pretty good audio. I'm the best that ever did it. Shooting for the race, but I'm turning blue in the face. I've been holding my breath, waiting on the rest of y'all to get it. Then your whole perception of who you view is a legend. It'll probably change, so it's probably best they don't admit it. They won't tell about the revolution. You can hear that, man. That sounds nice and nice and clear, man. And it's a little bit different than the, the stock Android player. They did skin it a little bit. And, um, you know, I, I like it a lot. You got some... You know, you can go here, check out playlists, albums, and then if you go to menu and go to settings, you see there you got a equalizer you can mess with. Uh, you can actually change the effect too if you want to make it like a wider sound or a concert hall. Um, if you go to EQ, there's actually a, a custom option, which you see there down at the bottom. So if you've got headphones plugged in, you can actually you know tweak your sound settings and you know raise your you know your bass levels or your treble or whatever you want to do so I like that a lot as well so music wise a uh, real good device um, love the browsing 
and the movie play you know movie playback is is real nice the you know the area where this falls short is the video chat i think that's you know that was one of the big you know selling points of this device was it's got two cameras you know front and rear and just seeing how difficult it is to find some type of software or any type of solution to do video chat in an easy way that's a major pain in the ass so i'm not feeling that and i gotta take off you know quite a bit for that but otherwise it's you know a real good multimedia device so rounding things out man the samsung galaxy tab uh there's a lot to like about it i mean it's got the seven inch form factor which is nice comfortable um easy to type you know i the browsing on it is you know nice and smooth uh, you got a lot of horsepower with the gigahertz processor um gaming is cool on the device as well uh very good for watching movies you know all of those things has got going for it um but one thing that's a major knock to me is the actual price and i mean right now i can even open up the verizon wireless page and you see it right there this is still 500 dollars on month to month pricing that's a lot of money especially when you consider you got you know some other high profile tablets like the motorola zoom um there's even some other brands you know that are non-android that are you know some pretty attractive looking tablets which are just getting ready to come out within the next month or so and i mean when you figure that in and you got the 500 hundred dollar price tag for something that you know doesn't really deliver on the video chat and you know doesn't really have a specialized operating system for the device that's a lot of money and to me that's kind of a tough balance uh, so overall score wise i'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10 um just because i mean despite the shortcomings i you know every day when i get home from work i haven't really been able to stay away from this thing my cell phone's gotten pushed off to the side and i find myself you know browsing hitting up youtube you know reading different websites um even popping a video in or listening to music and so it does have a you know a cool factor to it that'll you know have you wanting to you know play around with it you know on most evenings so that being said it is cool and if you got that spare cash you know if you a baller like that you got that 500 dollars just burning a hole in your pocket you know go ahead and drop it um i would have loved to have seen a wi-fi only version um right at launch and i think they're still talking about delivering one which is kind of late at this point but um if they had a Wi-Fi only version, which was maybe around 300 to 350, then I could definitely say that, you know, this would maybe be a, a must buy or a must have for that price. But at $500 with bigger and better options on the way, uh, I just can't really recommend, you know, having to have this particular device. But it is cool uh, and, you know, it may be worth checking out. You know, if you don't mind that expensive price tag. So if you didn't get everything here in this video review, head on over to InfamousTechBlog.com and check out the written review. Uh, if you want to get at me on Twitter, it's at InfamousTech. If you want to hit me up directly, my personal Twitter account is at MajorHH. And uh, I got some, you know, more phones coming as the tablets, you know, are getting released. We're going to be reviewing those too. So a lot more in store. Glad to be back. And I'll be back at y'all real soon. Peace.